Welcome to Online Math for All. Here we have a problem on the board. The denominator of a fraction exists in numerator by 5 and if 3 be added to both, the fraction becomes 3 fourth. Find the fraction. Okay, when we read the information we have in the question, it seems to be complicated. Actually, it is not. So, the thing what we need to do is we have to convert the given information to an equation or expression, whatever is possible. So, once we convert the given information to an equation or an expression, easily we can solve this kind of problems. Okay, here the first information is the denominator exists in numerator by 5. For example, if the numerator is 3, then the denominator will be 8 because the denominator exists in numerator by 5. Okay, so, in case if I assume the numerator is 1, the denominator will be 6 or if I assume that numerator is 2, the denominator will be 7 because uh, the denominator exists in numerator by 5. But I am not sure what is going to be the numerator. Just for an assumption, I am saying 3 is a numerator, 1 is a numerator, 2 is a numerator, but I am not sure what is the numerator. So, for that what do we have to do? We have to assign a variable for the unknown quantity numerator. So, I assume x is a numerator, then the denominator will be x positive 5 because the denominator exists in numerator by 5. So, this is the required fraction. Once I get the value of x, I can come to know the fraction. Okay, now, in this fraction x over x positive 5, we can apply the second information that is 3 is added to both. 3 is added to both means 3 has to be added to both numerator and denominator. So, now I am going to add 3 to the numerator and also I am adding 3 to the denominator. When I am adding 3 to both numerator and denominator, the fraction becomes 3 fourth. So, it must be equal to 3 by 4. Okay, now, we have to solve this equation for x. Okay, x plus 3 divided by x plus 8 in denominator is equal to 3 fourth. Okay, now, we can do cross multiplication. So, we get 4 times x plus 3 is equal to 3 times x plus 8. So, the, num uh, the numerator on the left side is multiplied by the denominator on the right side and the numerator on the right side is multiplied by the denominator on the left side. This is cross multiplication. Okay, now, 4 has to be distributed to x and 3 and also 3 has to be distributed to x and 8. When we distribute this 4 to x and 3, it will, it will be 4 x positive 12 and here 3 x positive 24. Okay, to isolate x, you have to get rid of the variable on one of the sides, either on the left side or right side. Usually, we will uh, get rid of the variable on the right side. To get rid of this variable 3 x on the right side, I subtract 3 x from both sides. So, this one, this one will cancel out. The simplification of this one is just x plus 12 on the right side, we have 24. Okay, now, we have the equation x positive 12 is equal to 24. To solve for x, I have to get rid of this plus 12. For that, I subtract 12 from both sides. When I do it, so positive 12, negative 12 will cancel out. x is equal to just 12. 24 minus 12 is just 12. I got the value of x. Now, I can find the fraction easily. That is here, x is 12 and x plus y means 12 plus y, which is equal to 12 over 17. So, this is a required fraction. Okay, so, we got the answer. That is, uh, the target of the question is to find the fraction. So, we got the fraction. That is 12 over 17. Okay, now, we can verify our answer with the information what we have been given. Okay, let us do it. The fraction what we got is 12 over 17. Okay, in this fraction, what I am going to do is, I am going to check the first information. That is, the denominator has to exceed the numerator by 5. That is true, because the numerator is 12 and the denominator is 17, uh, which exists in numerator 12 by 5. Okay, now, I am going to apply the second information in this fraction. Uh, that is, 3. I am going to add 3 to both numerator and denominator. So, 15 divided by 20, because 12 plus 3 is uh, 15, 17 plus 3 is 20. So, both 15 and 20 are multiples of 5. So, 5 goes into 15 thrice and 5 goes into 20 4 times, so which is equal to 3 fourth. So, when I add 3 to both numerator and denominator, the fraction becomes 3 fourth. So, the second information is also satisfied by the answer. So, the answer 12 over 17, I mean the fraction we have to find the fraction. So, we got the fraction 12 over 17. So, this fraction um, satisfies both the information given in the question. I think everyone can understand this. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.